Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, the 14th of September, and it's quarter past seven in the morning. I'm just getting Finlay's lunch ready for school. It's very early, I'm very tired. I've just made a coffee. I don't have much caffeine a day now. I only allow myself two proper coffees a day. The rest of it's decaf. But one of those proper coffees I need before the school will run on the morning. <laughs> so, I hope you're all okay. I've, um, I don't think I put a vlog out last week. So I was doing a few tutorials. So I thought I'd do a vlog today. I want to film a tutorial today as well. Now, I know the crochet tutorials are not very popular. There's only been a small amount of views on them. But I really want to continue with the, cr with the crochet tutorials. I know they're helping somebody and that's fine. That's fine. So I'm going to put another crochet tutorial out today. Um, I think I'm going to do the dishcloth. Because I'm trying to, in the run up to Christmas, I'd like there to be some quick uh, Christmas gifts that everybody can make. And dishcloths, one second, let me find thin a Kit Kat. Karen, Stitches and Jacks, if you're watching, Finlay likes Kit Kats too. Um, yeah, I'd like to do some quick tutorials on things that you can make for Christmas and dishcloths are really good because you can wrap them up with a little fancy bar of soap or just put a nice brown label on them and they always look really nice. So I'm going to continue with the crochet series. So I'm going to do that today. Um, got a few snaggy jobs to sort out. Danny's got some dyeing to do so I'll, I'll film a, bit, a little bit of that. It might be in black and white. Um, so yeah, I don't know what we're doing today other than working, but I will take you along with us. I hope that you've all had a lovely, lovely week. And I just want to say, after the awful news last week, let me just grab my coffee. Bert's outside and he's just ran up a tree. He ran halfway up a tree and then ran back down again. Um, so yeah, we, we lost our lovely queen last Thursday, which was... A shock for everybody but it's been really nice going on the school run all of the buses have got um, Queen Elizabeth on the front you know where they normally have the digital display it's on there and it's lovely to see and all of the road signs which normally tell you if there's traffic jams or anything like that are all about Queen Elizabeth which is lovely her funeral is next week next Monday the 19th of September so yeah, so I wanted to mention it because it's big news for the UK. Um, yeah, so what was I saying before that? I don't know. It's frosty. It's frosty. Oh my God, we had first frost yesterday. Not proper frost. Just you can see like a white sheen on the grass when I got up yesterday morning. It was amazing. I've worn knitted socks twice within the past week. Oh my God, it's brilliant. So lovely to be into autumn. I know we're not officially in autumn yet, but it's autumn to... Luigi! Did you sort of come over? Did you think we're on a Patreon vlog and you'd introduce yourself? Um, yeah, I know we're not officially into autumn yet, but oh, it's so nice. My car's frosted up a little bit. It's lovely. It's still really warming up in the afternoon, though. Yesterday morning, well, yesterday I had black jeans on, and then by sort of one o'clock, it was so hot. I'd taken Josh to school yesterday, and um, the, there isn't enough time. There is enough time to come home if I'm only going to be home for twenty minutes. So when I take Josh to school, I need to sort of hang around in that area until he finishes, which is two, two and a half hours. So if I come home, I'll get home, have half an hour, then I've got to set back off again, which is pointless and it's just a waste of fuel. And in this climate, I can't afford to waste fuel. So what I've been doing is just waiting there. So yesterday I thought there's a drive through Costa's not too far away. I, I was working on the C2C, uh, I'll, I'll show you it later. I was working on that 
Um, so I had a little bit of work that I wanted to do. So I thought I'd go to the drive through Costa's and I'll sit in little car park and do some work. And oh my God, the heat. I couldn't get the car into a shade. And that was about 11 o'clock. It was so warm. But yesterday morning it had been frosty. But it's just, it's nice to see the frost. It's nice to be out of that awful, awful heat that was ridiculous. And the entire UK couldn't cope. Any podcast that you watched during that time, they were all like, I'm melting. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to have this coffee. I need to set off at eight o'clock for Finlay. The cats have just made a mess with biscuits. I've just cleaned all the surfaces and there are biscuits everywhere. Right, oh, hang on a minute. I'm back. Sorry, I had the music blowing out. Um, change of plan. Change of plan. Change of plan. Change of plan. Everything that I had planned today is now completely changed. Why is that? Danny's taking me to Skipton. Oh, you don't know. Danny got glasses. No, I We showed it on the Patreon vlog the other day. He went for his eye test. When was it? And he did need glasses after all that. It's been a little bit of a. You don't don't think you need glasses, do you? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Do you know what? Do you know something? Honestly, it's been a couple of stressful weeks. It really has getting the kids into the new routines and trying to get them settled. If you can hear that noise, it's the hamster. She's trying to break <laughs> out of her now. cage. Trying to get break out. It has been a couple of stressful weeks, so we're just going to take a day together, aren't we? Hmm? We're just going to take a day together. Yeah, I was working on the advent yesterday. Yep. So, yeah, so. And it's raining at the minute, so hopefully we can get the rest of the advent done this afternoon. The advent should be shipped out um, Friday. Hopefully. It should be shipped out Friday. Hopefully. Depends if I'm busy. Get him told, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Danny loves doing the advent. It's, uh, it's his favourite time. I said to him, uh, next year, are you going to do it the same way or are you going to do like pre-order for the whole advent? And he said, no, I've absolutely loved doing it, haven't you? It is, I like In the sense of I love doing it, yeah. It's, it's just fun. Get to play all the colours and, and then watch you lovely people design. You design, but that's with the other, yeah, not the advent, of course. Yeah, he does design with the advent. I know, but that's going to be later on, isn't it? I have, do you know what? You can't be sneaking into your advent early. I don't have an advent yet. <laughs> You're getting, I actually don't you're, have... you're, you know what you're getting. So it started off where Danny was dying my advent at the same time. But what happened was we've had a few advents go missing over the course. Obviously, you know, parcels go missing. So we've we've had to replace parcels and it's usually got... We did a... We made sure we had a spare and mine, didn't we? Yeah. So mine and a spare went... And then somebody else had joined in part way through. So I don't have an advent anymore. But Danny's going to make me one. But it's not yeah, but the same gonna get, as yours. You're going to make one from scratch. I won't have the same as everybody else. So. But anyway, back but I, to But I know advent. all the colours so you can. You can, yeah. I okay. can. I can design it that way. Yeah. If you like it, though. I'm really fancy. Anyways. I'm really fancy in the radvent this time. Hmm? You know, the rad... If you don't know the radvent... <laughs> Back off. <laughs> you know the Radfen. Have you anybody made it? It was. I saw it on We Share Needles. Must have been last year. And I really fancy that this time. I purposely started my C2C, so I'm not tempted to make another C2C with my Advent. I still want to make the habitation throw. And I started my socks. And Danny started his socks. <laughs> you won't have seen that either. That went on to Patreon as well. Oh, this so is yeah, we so I can, in a week. So, <laughs> Sorry for coming really close then. <laughs> I, I started knitting a little bit. He did start knitting a little bit. And crocheting. Was... I thought Danny would find crocheting easier, so I started him off with crochet, but that like, didn't go well, did it? Turns no. out I'm not a very good <laughs> teacher. <laughs> 
but knit in, he picked up like a duck to water. Didn't drop a single stitch at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd be doing it like on a full time basis. No, I just every so often you might pick it up. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only way I get my socks done. And back on. Did it seriously? <laughs> I've been waiting a year for my socks. You have not. You've got yarn <laughs> over there, which is yours. I'm it's like, on... these, like the lovely people said, you can't, can't wait for them. I have to make them myself. So I've decided to start making them myself. <laughs> Do you know what this is? <laughs> is that the smallest violin? Yes. I thought it was money. Okay. Well, it's well <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go. We're gonna head off to Skipton. I don't know if because we're gonna take you out, isn't it? We'll take you out. Probably have to go buy yarn, of course. Well, there's Pearl and Jane in Skipton. Oh, is it? <laughs> just yeah, we're just gonna have a day. We've not had a day for. Look. Hmm. Last time we went to Skipton, which was really. No, it wasn't a year ago. I think it might have been April, March, April, April or May, something like that. We met Shelley in Skipton. That was the last oh, time yeah. we had the day. Yeah. And us day. Yeah, and us day. Anyway, we're going to go. We'll see. We're in Skipton. Yay! It's market day as well, so we'll have a walk around the market, I think. Hi. <laughs> 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 You say let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown Well I don't know about that But can you help me first to get these boxes down Well I don't know about that We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said well I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing For the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that mm-hmm. I don't know about that Let's call some friends over For a game of poker or so Or the radio Well I don't know about that but There's a whole list full of all the things we can do But I wanna do none Wish that you did too So you can just keep trying And I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day So we've come into Morrison's Cafe, we were looking for just a little cafe somewhere to get a little bit of breakfast, but everywhere was heaving. So we've trekked over to Morrison's and we're having a Morrison's breakfast, which you can't beat, and they were half price as well, so a bargain. So we're going to have this, and then I want to go over to Pearl and Jane. I've had a little wander around Skipton, I haven't bought anything. Um, I do want to have a look in Pearl and Jane. So, let me flip the camera around. Look. Look. From all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up 
And that we would be the ones left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time grew up, I somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are, and if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Skipton, it's been fab. So I didn't get too much. I just want we just wanted to have a little bit of time out, really, and just spend some time together and just have a little bit of time out. But but I went into Pearl and Jane. So Pearl and Jane is my localist yarn shop, and it's just fabulous. Um, Jane, they are on Instagram, so I will tag them in this video um, as well. So I went in there. Now, I've had some problems this week. My sock needles both broke. So I haven't been able to finish Ruby's birthday socks. I did contact, I bought them off Amazon. The return, I bought them in May. The return window for them closed in June, so I couldn't return them. So I contacted Knit Pro and they said, it's down to the, manu the retailer, so you need to go back to the retailer. So I've tried going back to the retailer, I've got nowhere. And I'm a little bit annoyed because I bought two needles at the same time, two sets of circular needles, and the cables have fallen out of both of them. So I was a little bit annoyed. When I went into Pearl and Jane today, I needed to get some 2.5 needles so I could finish Ruby's socks. But she only had the Knit Pro, and I still am a bit funny about Knit Pro at the moment. 
And she did say we do get sent extra needles in case a customer returns them. So it really is down to the retailer, which made me feel a little bit better that it's not Nipro's fault. Um, I've got to leave it a few more days on Amazon before I can open up a case and then I'll be emailing Nipro. But nevertheless, it's not Nipro's fault. It is the retailer. So I bought some more 2.5s so I can finish Ruby's socks. I also bought a cheeky little pattern, which I thought these are gorgeous. Um, I don't know if she sells on Ravelry, I'll have a look. But Pearl and Jane have a website anyway. But yeah, isn't, aren't they just gorgeous? I've got some grey yarn that was given for my birthday last year that I've been itching to use and not wanting to put it into socks because it's too special. So I thought I could use that. It was sent to me by a subscriber last year with some fabric and I've just got it in pride of place in my bedroom and I'm, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to use that for that. And then I also I bought this. Now, it was a little bit pricey and it's only 25 grams. The reason being... I've wanted to try it for ages, but it's one of those things where unless you can feel it, you, I don't want to buy it online because I want to feel it first. It's Kid Silk Mohair, Super Kid Silk Mohair. Now, I'm going to see how I get on with it because if this works, if I like this, I can use this in garments held with fingering weight yarn. I've always shied away from doing it because I'm so sensitive. That feels okay, but it always feels okay when I do that. It's once it's knit up, I can tell whether I like it or not. So I bought this to go with, you can see there's a new cast on coming, can't you? I've had this pattern for ages and ages and ages. It's the Salem beanie. I have made the Salem sweater and I have this yarn, which was also a gift. I don't know what the yarn is. Yes, I do. It's here. It is... No, that's the pom-pom. Because it also came with a pom-pom. So I don't know what this yarn actually is, but I thought it'd look really nice paired up with that one. So, that's all. Oh, I bought a book as well. David Baldacki. This was in the works. Which I thought looked quite good. So, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to cast on the Salem beanie. I'm, I need to go wind this yarn. Does anybody else just hate winding yarn? It always seems like such a chore to wind a skein of yarn up. Always. And it's not even that big of a deal. I just need to get the skein winder out and crack on. And that's only 50 grams. So it's not even going to take that long. But it's just one of those jobs that I actually don't cast on projects sometimes because I can't be bothered to wind up yarn. How lazy. But yeah, I'm going to do that. I am sitting, waiting for the Finster. It looks like it's going to absolutely heave it down. I've got washing out at home. Danny is at home. <laughs> but whether he notices if it's raining or not is another matter. But I'm just sitting and I'm waiting for Finlay. I haven't brought any knitting with me. Um, oh, do you know, I've been trying to design something on the iPad. Um... And you know when you just can't get it right, I'm in that kind of stage. I've got the idea that I want in my head, but I can't get it down. So I'm finding it really frustrating at the moment. I'm gonna, I've just left it alone for now, and I'm going to go back to it later. But I wonder what that was then. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go back to it later. But yeah, just like, mm, I can't get it out of my head how I want it. It's a new mug design that I want to do and I'm just really struggling with it. But never mind, it'll it'll come one way or another. So, yeah, I'm going to go pick uh, Finster up. Then we need to nip through to Sainsbury's and just grab something for tea. Danny wants pie tonight. Um, I don't like pies. Josh will eat pie with Danny, but I'm really, it's not my favourite food. So I'm just going to grab something different that I can have and... I think that is all. I've had a few, I did cast on the Salem beanie. I'm going to talk to you about it later because I can't work out whether it's me. Um, 
sorry, that was a bus. This might be really noisy here. Um, the pattern doesn't work. The numbers don't add up. So it's a 13 stitch repeat and you have 108 stitches. Is that me or does that not add up? So I'm going to have another look at it later on. After tea when everything's a bit calm and I've got a little bit of time to look at it. But right now I'm waiting for the Finster. I'm hoping he's had a good day. We will see. But it is really busy here and noisy. And somebody's walking down the street that I know and I'm talking to myself in my phone. So I'll speak to another. Hello. It is ten past six. I have Stuart sat behind me. <coughs> Look how cute he is. He's been sat there most of the day. When I sit down, I'm sat up now, so I'm talking to you, but normally I'm sort of slouched here with my feet on the table knitting. And if I move too much, what he's taken to doing is putting his claws on my neck and just digging them in, like, sit still. But he's so cute. Look at him. Right, so, <coughs> are we ready for a chat? <coughs> and then I get really dry throat. I'm really sorry for sick coughing. First of all, um, I didn't say earlier, I will link that yarn shop in the description box below. The pattern that I've got here, you can buy it on their website. These are the Frankie mittens and they're fingering weight mittens. It says use double pointed needles but I'm going to try and use magic loop lift you up a little bit so first of all you want to see what I've got today oh my god are you ready for these are you ready you think it's yarn don't you no it's not got some new boots my boots broke last year and I absolutely wear boots day in day out through the winter um but when the no, it wasn't last year, it was earlier on this year, just before we sort of came out of winter, my boots broke. So I've been living in trainers ever since. And I'm not one for trainers, I much prefer boots. So I bought some new... Ruby! I bought some new boots. I absolutely love them. They've got little zips on them, aren't they? Gorgeous. I can't wait to wear these tomorrow. Right. So, I wanted to show you my new boots. And we're going to have a little bit of a chat about the pattern so this is the Salem beanie I was gifted this pattern it was last year when I did the get your yarn wishes granted somebody went onto my wish list and gifted me this which was on my wish list and it was on there from when I did the Salem sweater which was absolutely brilliant I had no problems with it now I don't know the Salem sweater, let me just see, because I thought that was by Dragon Hard Yarns, but this is by, not by Dragon Hard Yarns, I'm not going to say who it's by. Let me just bring up the Salem sweater. Yeah, the Salem sweater was by Dragon Hard Designs, and I don't know if this is the same person or not, but I'm not doing it. Sorry if you can hear that, Jay. It's cooking in the kitchen. Um, I said earlier that the numbers didn't add up. And I've had a really good look through the pattern. The numbers really don't add up. In a couple of places, not just in one. And there's mistakes in it as well. So then I went on to Ravelry and I looked through the project pages. There isn't a lot of project pages. I think there was sort of under 30 but there were some comments on there about it as well. So I was really disappointed because it's a paid for pattern. It's not a free pattern and it wasn't a, it wasn't the most expensive, but it wasn't the cheapest. And I could go and work out what's wrong, but I don't want to. So I'm not gonna use that, which then left me with a dilemma for my yarn had cast a cast on so this is what I've got so far isn't it beautiful I absolutely love it I still really want this in a hat so I'm not sure 
this is even big enough. I cast on the correct number of stitches in that pattern, but I did go up two needle sizes. Um, and this is still quite, feels quite small. I can get it on. Let me just try it. I can get it on. Should be all right. It's quite snug, but it does go on. At least it won't fall off. So what I'm going to do is, I've no idea. I'm just going to start knitting. Sorry, it's out of my hair now. I'm just going to start knitting. I initially thought earlier what I might do is just do a stocking stitch hat. But rather than doing crown decreases, I quite like the styles of the hats where they don't decrease, they just stitch across the top. So you have like a flat section here, then it comes down like a hat. I really like the style of those, but I've never made one before. So I, I don't know, like, um, how, I, don't, I don't know how to explain what I mean. I don't know whether it would need to be a tight beanie or more of a slouchy to accommodate that top part I'd be putting on it. I don't know, so I'm just going to wing it. That sounds like something I do, doesn't it? But I am, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to, I've increased a few stitches because this bit was far too tight um, to do the whole hat in that. So I've put a few stitches on it and I'm just going to play it by ear. It'll either be a tight beanie, a slouchy beanie, or a beanie with a flat bit across the top. I really wanted to use the pom-pom that came with the yarn, which is part of the reason I chose this mohair with it. Because I've got an itchy eye now. Because I thought them two together with the beanie, would, uh, with the pom-pom, would look amazing. And when I hold it up, it really does. I really like it, <clears throat> but I don't know, I don't know, I'm just going to see what happens with the hat, I'm just going to start knitting and just see how it goes, I've untangled that now and I don't think I should have done, put that back in there, but the yarn is lovely, it's really nice, so it is, it's Lang Yarns Mohair it's gorgeous. I'm going to struggle on the podcast next week because I was so desperate to get into it. I just ripped it. So now I can't see the number to tell everybody what it was. I can. I can see the number, just I've got to hold the, the um, label properly to see it. But yeah. So I'm just going to see what happens and... The only thing with this, is this normal for mohair? It keeps falling apart like this. Is that normal? I've never used it before. I just have to sort of like keep pulling a bit off and then wrapping it back round like that. But it's really nice. It's, it does feel really soft. I won't know till I've made more whether I could wear this in a garment. Me and my friend were talking about this earlier on in the year, about how itchy mohair can be. And I see all these amazing looking cardigans and sweaters. The original um, Whitmore is knit with fingering weight and mohair held double. And I really wanted it because I love the, the look of it. It looks so nice, but actually physically wearing it, I don't know if I'd be able to. And me and my friend were talking about this. You see that? I don't know if it would drive me mad. I'm really super sensitive. I can't have anything with alpaca in it. That just really, like, really gets to me. So I don't know. It won't matter on my head. But yeah. I really like it. And it's going to be super warm. So I'm going to do a little bit on that tonight. I'm going to pick up my iPad design that I was telling you about earlier that I do need to get on with. Um, and that is about it, I think. I've got another video planned for this week. It's a little bit of a different one and I don't know if you're going to like it. I'm not going to say what it is now. Um, 
but it's just something a little bit different. I feel a bit guilty because there was no vlog out last week, but I did do a few tutorials last week. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of a different video up, I think, tomorrow. I haven't done the tutorial that I wanted to do today yet because I couldn't film it at the same time as vlogging. I didn't think of that this morning when I decided to vlog. Um, my memory fills up on my phone really quickly. So I can't film two videos in one day unless I can get one uploaded quickly and then film another one. Um, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. But yeah, there's another video that I want to film tomorrow and it might be a bit rubbish. I don't know. I'm just going to, do you know what? I'm just going to do it and then see what happens. It, you might all think, for goodness sake, or you might all really like it. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. Watch out for it tomorrow or Friday. And that's about it for the week, I think. The um, Advents should all be shipped Friday. If they're not shipped Friday, it'll be Monday at the absolute latest. It's about the same time every month we ship them. Um, Saturdays, the post office is closed by us, so I can't do it on a Saturday. Plus, we have Danny's kids as well this weekend, which is always super, super busy, but lots of fun. I think we've got Jenga planned again Saturday night. And last week, I did, not last week, last fortnight, I did really well at Jenga. So I plan on keeping my title this time. <laughs> I think they, I was playing Jenga properly and everybody else was just trying to make it fall. I think that's what the problem was. But yeah, anyway. So I'm going to get off. I'm just waffling at this point. I've been waffling for 10 minutes. Um, and thank you all for watching. I hope you're all okay. Um, it's been just, it's been so nice having that extra time by going back to the fortnightly podcasts um just to have the extra time to think about the other things that i want to do with the channel so thank you so much everybody and yeah i think that's it wow what an ending that's really waffly isn't it so that's it for today's vlog hopefully there'll be well there will be another vlog up next week and I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely day and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.